Namaskar I'm Guruji. Determining ratio among various parameters is common in mathematical and statistical calculations. Are there evidence of people using them in ancient Bharatam? Yes, there are evidences. Ratio and proposition is an important criterion for understanding relative quality or quantity with respect to other parameters. When we say one out of every three persons knows Sanskrit, it gives a ratio of one, three. Interesting. Believe this type of mathematical presentation is a contribution of modern mathematics? Well many people think so however Bhaskaracharya's commentary for Arayabhatiya 2.26-5 says, Ishtandanthas triodami arayati gava, prakyatitha, ekagrasaya sehasrasaya kathidantha, kathitare, meaning, out of eleven cattle eight is tamed and three are to be tamed and how many are to be tamed if the number of cows is one thousand and one? Here the ratio between tamed and untamed is eight, three. From this, the number of tamed can be calculated by taking the product of 1001 and 8 and dividing by 11. The same is applicable for determining the number of untamed animals. Interesting Karaji. Could you let me know from how long does Bharatiya's no ratio and proposition? Please? Calculations using ratio propositions were known to Bharatiya's at least from Bhaskara's period. Descriptions given in available literature say that this subject is dealt with in Bakshali manuscripts also. If that is also taken into consideration, the history of ratio starts further back, to about 2000 years. That is very interesting. Thank you, Karaji for sharing this valuable information. Thanks to Dr. N. Gopalakrishnan for the valuable research. Hope you had an opportunity to learn something new today. Let us reconnect on another interesting blog post. Danaya Vadham.